Hi everybody, it's Lynn. Um, on our little impromptu happy hour the other night, we talked a bit about Google Sites and I said I would create a template for our staff. If anybody would like to take the template and use it to create your own Google Site, you may do so. Um, I shared it to everybody's drive, so I'll show you in a moment how to make a copy and edit it, but I wanted to give an overview and show you what I've worked on on mine so far so you can kind of see how to navigate um, as you edit your personal page. So Google Classroom is a website you create through Google and it's very handy because you can link your classroom, um, your Google Calendar, Google Docs, whatever, anything Google basically. Um, but it's a lot easier for the kids to navigate than Google Classroom and it's a lot easier for the parents and actually you don't even need to log in to get to Google Sites. You just need to um, have the URL which I'll show you in just a minute. So it's open for the kids to get on, no problem. Um, I'm going to show you what I did with mine so far. So um, I just put my name and you, there's lots of things you can edit. You can play around with it. Over here are the main tools that you'll use, the insert and pages. Um, so what I did so far is I created pages um, and they're all up here. And I'll go through them. They're on the pages page. If you want to add any other pages, you just add a new one, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. But I wanted them to be a little more easy for the kids to navigate. So I made these little buttons and I literally just made pictures on PowerPoint and I just saved them as pictures and uploaded them. If you use my template and as you're editing it, you want a different like button, but you don't want to start all over, just let me know. It's super easy for me to make one of them if you want me to do it for you. So here's what I have so far. Lessons and assignments, online resources, view our schedule, meet the teacher, e-learning expectations, contact info, class library, and remind. And I actually have another one. I just wanted to show you how to do it, so I deleted it. I'm going to do a new page. So what you do is you just click over here, new page, and I want to have a page that links to all of our Google Meet links. We're going to do a lot of, like, you know, virtual, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go back home. Um, so I just want to have them be able to go click the Google Meet button, click the link, and have it open up so they don't need to worry about typing anything in. So I created the page, but I want to create the button as well. So here's my page, but I want to create the button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert, which you can do two ways. You can double click and click images, there's embed, there's a bunch of different things, or you can go to insert and image. And I'm gonna upload from my computer because these are the ones that I made. Google Meet, there's my little button. And you can just drag and drop really easily, so it's very easy to edit. So there's my Google Meet button, but I need to link it to that page. So what I do is I just click it once, and there's the link button. Um, I linked a ton of stuff. I'll show you like to outside resources as well. So this is very handy. So this opens up on my site, all my pages. So I can just type in Google and there's my Google Meet page. Okay. So when the kids view it online, they click Google Meet and it'll take them right to that page. Okay. So now let me go to my Google Meet. I have to do this just because I'm in edit mode. I wanted all mine to look the same. Um, so I deleted that and I'm going to upload that image again just so like you know a little third grader a little eight or nine year old can see like the consistent consistent buttons to that they so they know they're on the right page um so then that's like the header and then down below there's all these layouts you can add or you can just you know double click and put in a text box or whatever um I've been using these though and I made all the backgrounds orange, so if you make a new one and you need to edit it, over on the left side here is a little paint palette thing. You click it and go to the um, orangish one, and it'll change the background. So Google Me, I'm not going to add anything to it right now. I would just um, put the links in and really, you know, you know, the day of the week or whatever. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to show you my other pages so you can see it some other things that I linked in as well so lessons and assignments um, I just have the outline there for the days of the week um, I'm actually going to link my Google Classroom I'm still gonna use Google Classroom so for example if I post an assignment like say this was an assignment you can just copy link 
from Google Classroom. So they still will need to log in at some point, but you don't need to do it like right away. Like they don't, that's, you can already communicate with them even if they're not logged in. So I just copied that link and here's the link button again. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And let's say that was like their math homework for Monday. I'm gonna put math practice. So when the kids see this, and you know, I make it pretty whatever, they click on it, it takes them right to that assignment on Google Classroom. So that's one way you can use it. Um, you can also insert full um, Google Docs and whatnot. So if you have like a worksheet or something you want on your Google Drive, you can add it in. So let's say, or Google Slide, I know lots of people are doing lessons on Google Slides. You can just put the whole thing right in there and they can click through it. Um, this is obviously not what they'd be doing, but oops, insert that in there. Um, I just want to show you what it would look like. I'll show you when it's in, um, when I like preview it in a minute, how it's easy for the kids to scroll through all the pages. So, and then of course you can still drag and drop, like if that was the Monday assignment. Okay. I put that up there. Okay. So I'll show you in a minute what it looks like when the kids see it, but it's really easy for them to scroll through. Um, online resources. I put a couple in so far. I'm sure I'm missing some, but I just put these little pictures that I found online in and I actually linked the um, website. So when they click on Raz Kids, it's going to open up to, I don't know why I did that last time too. It's going to open right up to their login to Raz Kids. Same with IXL and Zern. I need to link the other ones. Um, I'll show you that in present mode in a minute as well. So for the schedule, I uploaded my Google Calendar for my class. I'll probably put a daily schedule on here as well, um, but just so they can kind of have an overview of the week, of the month. So if you want to do that, you can just go over here, oopsies, and you just click, you're on the insert tab, you click calendar, and all of your Google calendars that you have created come up, so you can just click the one that you want. So I clicked Mrs. Krasinski 2021. If you want to create a Google calendar, you just go to... Hmm, did I delete? No, I didn't. Okay, here it is. You just go to Google Calendars, um, and down here there's an add button, a plus button. You create a new calendar, name it whatever you want, and then um, it will be saved to your drive, and you can just upload it right onto your page here. Okay. Teacher, I just did like a little meet the teacher thing, so I just uploaded some pictures. I did a text box, and I typed in some information. Um, I just did... You know, I just did an insert an image and you're good to go. Uh, online expectations, I haven't done a whole lot with yet. I'm going to edit that later. Contact info. So I went through and I put these little pictures in, but when you actually click on the picture, I linked um, it to my email. So all you do for that, I just found this out. Um, you click, there we go. Not that. When you click the link, if you just type in mail to colon and then your email address, it like when they click on it, it'll just open right up to email, send an email to you. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I did remind, I have the, my own remind page. I'll show you in just a moment. And then I just did, you know, call the school if you want. Here's my Google Meet page that I haven't done anything with yet. Class library, I thought this was pretty cool, but I can't take credit for it. Gina sent this to Chris and me. It's for, um, through Epic, which I think we need an account, so I don't know how well it's, we gotta figure that out. But um, it has all of these books that are on Jan Richardson's um, guided reading levels, so the kids can just click it. And then if they go to the next slide, which I'll show you in present mode, then they can have the nonfiction ones as well and takes them right to the website. This is what I think is really cool. So Remind, you can actually put your whole Remind feed on here and it will update it in real time. So if you wanna do that, you go to Remind, you have to create your classroom, but then you go to, um, let's see, Account Settings, and you go to Widgets. So you need to select your class for the year and you need to click Advanced Settings and you need to click Wix. Then down here is the code, you can copy the code go to your page and you are going to either click insert over here or do double click and do embed. You click embedded code and you just paste and then click next and there you go. 
And so the kids, you know, can see it. The parents can see it. Um, everything's in one spot, all the forms of communication. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so that is what I have going so far. I'm going to show you up here is preview. So this is what it, well, let me go home. This is what it's going to look like when the kids go to the page. And it has an actual um, URL. When you publish it, you can create your own URL, which I think is kind of cool. But so you can see it's really easy. And then like, okay, they need to go to lessons and assignments. Click the purple button and boom, there we go. Here's the link to the math practice. When they click on it, it takes them right to that Google Classroom assignment. So there you go. And then um, this was that Google Doc, obviously. You can see though, you can just scroll right through. I think it's kind of cool. You can edit the size or anything. So if you have a worksheet, whatever you want to put on there, I thought that's pretty handy. Um, if I go to my online resources, I click Raz Kids. It takes them right to Raz Kids. So I did those links as well. Um, then they can see the calendar. I'm kind of going through the same things over again. You guys get the point. Um, contact info is what I want to show you just because I think it's so cool. You click, click the link. Oh, I'm logged in on Google, so it's going to take you to my email, but it'll just open up for them. There you go, to send an email right to you. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then I got my Google Me and my Remind. So here's kind of, this is kind of your overview. Um, you can also see down here what it's going to look like on different devices. So if the kids are on a, a smartphone, this is what it's going to look like for them. They can still go to all those different pages. Hopefully they'll all be on Chromebooks, you know, but if they're on a tablet, same thing. It shows you what it's going to look like. So that is the preview mode. When you're ready to publish it, you can still go back and edit it. But each time you do an update, like, you know, if Sunday you're putting all your lessons in for the week and all your links and everything, you need to publish it each time to update it to the actual site. You just click publish. Um, since I already did it once, it looks different, but it tells you what changes you made. You publish it. And then boom, you're good to go. So <clears throat> my actual link is like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to get to it. Wait, let me see. Okay, yeah, so um, it's sites.google.com, lpps.info, and then I did Mrs. K third grade slash home, or they can just go to Mrs. Mrs. K third grade. So you can edit what you want it to say right here. So you can have like an easy website for them to get to, you know, kind of easy at least. All right, so there's that. Um, if you do want to use the template that I created, it's basically the same as what I have, except I just took out all my like personal links. So it's um, called Pawn's Google Site Template. It's shared in everybody's drive. You just need to right click and make a copy. If you don't make a copy, it will edit it for everybody, which we don't want. So when you make a copy, it will open up a new one, which I have. It took a while to make a copy just because there's a lot of info on that page. But you open it up and it still kind of has the same layout, but then you can go in and you can edit it. So you're going to want to change the name to like your, your name up here. Um, just so you have it saved and then you can just go through and edit like teacher and grade and if you want to get rid of some of these replace them move them drag and drop them whatever you want you can um, do that if you want to edit the order of the pages up here as well you can drag and drop like that um, and then as you go through your pages do whatever you want with it this is just the basic outline just to get you guys started I took all these links to my things out of here and my Google calendar and whatnot, but you can play around with it. I hope that was helpful. I know it's like a lot of information, but we'll figure it out together and just let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.